What's up y'all? It's Drew from On The Moon Kicks and we're back with another unboxing video. Now this unboxing video is a little bit different because instead of one pair, I have two pairs to review. So this is gonna be a double unboxing. So before I reveal the shoes, I'm gonna give a little bit of background information on them. So these shoes do involve boost, but that didn't start it up a little bit well. These, both of these shoes did not have a lacing system which probably gives it away a little bit. Um, and when they first released, people thought they were ugly, but that eventually, um, the boost um, just made the shoe sore, and people started wearing them left and right, and they sold out immediately. So, now that I have told you about the shoe, I will get into the review. I have both models of the NMD City Sock, the City Sock 1 and the City Sock 2. So, I'm about to get into the first City Sock. Now, as you can see here, we got this clean black colorway with a gum sole on the bottom and these plugs right here that provide stability with the, um, and they have the color black. And as you can see right here, it has this number. I'm not sure what that number need, means, but I'm pretty sure a little bit of research, you can find out what it means. Um, this shoe is actually, is really, it's really sturdy despite the lacing system. They, um, they did use prime knit, but it seems like a bit of a stiffer prime knit so that your foot won't be sliding all over the place considering that this has a no lacing system. Now the cut is a bit high from let's say your normal city sock, uh, sorry, normal NMD, but overall it is a really clean shoe. You can wear it with joggers, uh, wear it with some, uh, some jeans, you know, uh, pin roller jeans, do whatever you want with them. You can wear, I've seen some people wear it with shorts. So I feel like the boost is a little bit harder on this model compared to the second model, which they did upgrade a little bit to. And yeah, that's a bit, um, sorry, that's a, it for the City Sock 1. Next, we have, in my opinion, a cleaner, cleaner colorway of a City Sock. This is the City Sock 2 in the Ronin colorway, I believe. And as you can see off the bat, on the side right here, they got rid of the plug that was on the City Sock 1. Now, did that improve or, uh, let's say, downgrade from the uh, City Sock 1 when it comes to stability? Not in a way. I think they've done something with the side to where it provides more stability. And also, as you can see, with the cut, it seems a bit smaller than the City Sock 2, sorry, excuse me, City Sock 1. Because you can see it has a little dip right here. Now, you can wear whatever you want, like I said, with the City Sock 2 as well. You can wear joggers, shorts, pants, jeans, whatever you want to wear. Let's talk about the colorway. So the colorway, we have, it's almost like a, a milky, milky gum bottle, got a bottom almost, and a, a white boost sole. And it looks like the plugs are almost like blackish navy on here. It's obviously a darker navy than on the top. So the top is made of prime knit and the prime knit is uh, a navy. And as you can see right here, through the stitching details that they created a circle with lines, obviously. But it just creates so much, so much character with the shoe, with the details that they did. And They've also included leather. I'm not sure if it's with all City Sock 2s, but this specific pair, the Ronin from the Ronin pack, I know it has leather on it. The insole is leather and the pull tab is leather. And that's about it for the City Sock 2. Now, if you ever want to purchase the City Sock 1 or City Sock 2, you have to stay on the release dates. You have to stay on like almost everything because these will sell out immediately, regardless of where um, the website is regardless of how many pairs they they released they were gonna sell out regardless of what colorway So I recommend that you stay on the Adidas confirmed that Stay on Twitter. I know there are a couple uh, Twitter uh, pages that send out notifications when a sneaker releases specifically uh, sneakers like these 
And yeah, you have to stay on top of your game with release dates and everything like that. And that'll be it for On The Moon Kicks.